Do demons give you superhuman ability? The answer to that is yes, so long as God permits. Now we know God has divine reasons behind everything. We know there's a reason for suffering and adversity. We know there's a reason for the evil that occurs in this world. God is not the cause of evil, but he works evil out for a greater good, Genesis 50, 20. And so God not only allowed uh, fallen angels to uh, descend, rebel against him, and then uh, Lucifer and fallen angels, uh, demons, unclean spirits to uh, be against God forever, uh, God allowed that to happen because we know God has the final say and we know from Revelation 20, I believe, uh, if not 21, uh, in the latter part of that chapter, that eventually they're all going to be cast into the lake of fire where they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So it seems like how could God allow this to happen? Well, God's allowing it to happen because just as uh, I believe it's uh, Romans or Hebrews reveals that uh, um, the sons of disobedience are storing up upon themselves the wrath of God, God allows evil to happen, but it's to their own, to people's own downfall. But thanks be to God, he doesn't want any to perish and go to hell on everlasting fire because we know everlasting fire was not made for man, but for Lucifer and his angels. But God wants all to come to know him by believing that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and repenting of their sins. But demons, so long as God permits, can give superhuman ability. We see this in Mark 5, 1 through 5, where the man was continually chain, chained uh, and bounded in the cave. But he always was able to get out of that. He had a sort of superhuman strength uh, where the spirits within him strengthened him to be able to do things, things that would just were not natural. So uh, demons can give superhuman capabilities. There are some who sell their soul to the devil and are heavily involved in witchcraft and so forth, and they're able to do certain things uh, such as astro project, uh, speak out curses upon other people. Uh, they can do these sort of things when they sell their soul literally to the devil and give themselves over. Uh, God, again, has divine reasons for allowing certain things to happen. Again, he doesn't want any to perish. But de can demons uh, give people superhuman ability? The answer to that is yes. But we need to understand and not seek after that. Because greater is he that is in us, the Holy Spirit, than he that is in the world. The Holy Spirit, God Almighty, is infinitely greater than Satan. Because even Satan was created. But God is the uncreated creator, and he alone is the one worth, worth, worth worshiping and giving all praise and glory to, and he is the one worth knowing. Uh, so may all come to know God by believing Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, and repenting of their sins, and may we just understand that demons can give other people superhuman ability. So may we not be shocked by that. May we not just rule it off, but may we always hold to the reality that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And one word in the name of Jesus is more powerful than 10,000 words from the enemy.